Hey, my name is Nick Swanson, and I'm here today to just talk to you about how Christ on relationships have changed my life. So it's kind of weird to talk about uh, relationships before Christ was the center of it, um, because before I really had Christ in the relationships, there wasn't any relationships. It was just random people that I knew that I really didn't care about. If they were there, it wasn't a big deal. If they were gone, also wasn't a big deal. Um, so it's it's hard to say that there's a contrast because I, I didn't have relationships before Christ. They, it was just nothing. I, there was nothing that was important to me. Uh, I really wasn't, wasn't emotional. Uh, I wasn't attached to anyone. Um, it was just me kind of floating along. One of the first steps that kind of really changed my life uh, is I moved into a house with four other guys. Uh, they were all Christians, all really strong in their faith. Um, we all had our own issues, but we all kind of came together and, and grew on that. Um, we, we stretched each other uh, in a lot of ways. There was a lot of kind of fighting, bickering, but there was also a lot of love. Like we always came back together. Uh, we always knew why we were there. Uh, and we just, we used that to, to grow spiritually. Uh, and that, that really made a big impact in my life and kind of showed me where I wanted to go uh, and how I wanted to lead other people in that. Two of the biggest people uh, involved in probably all of my spiritual growth uh, would be uh, my best friend, Blake Stockman, and uh, another one of my really good friends, Tammy Steele. Uh, they are by far the two greatest people I've ever had in my life. Uh, they, they constantly speak wisdom and knowledge into me. Uh, they try and praise me for things that I don't necessarily want to ex receive praise for, uh, but they also keep me really accountable. Uh, they will not let me walk out of a conversation uh, not giving everything I had to it or really putting myself out there or going deep. Uh, and they know when I'm not. They, they know me well enough, they care about me enough uh, that no matter what uh, the situation is, they're, they're going to know how to handle me in that and, and kind of where I am. Um, they can gauge that really well. And that has helped out so much. Uh, with that, I feel like I have two of the best friends ever. Uh, I actually feel bad for everyone else who doesn't have them. Uh, just, it just, that is, uh, that is a very big part of where I am, uh, is just in them. So with having all these relationships in my life that have uh, very much impacted me, uh, there's bound to be some change. Uh, there's bound to be uh, a difference in what I was to what I am now. Uh, and with that, there is a big difference in how I interact with people uh, everywhere I am. Uh, I'm part of the Connections team here. Uh, so I love that when people come and talk to me. They're new. They, um, they just want to get known. I love that. It's, it's so much different. I never used to want to do that. I, if you were new, uh, I, was, I was the exact opposite. I'd want to push you away and kind of be like, I don't need to know you because I have all the friends I have. That's, we're fine. Um, but it's not that way anymore. I, I generally care about everyone that I get to talk to. Uh, and in that, my, even in my job, uh, I'm a server at Applebee's, and uh, I love when people uh, let me just sit down and talk with them. Um, when it gets slow, uh, I will literally like pull up a chair uh, and talk to them about anything. I love talking to them about Christ, uh, talking about church, um, just anything that they're doing in life. It's just, it's fantastic. And I've got a few people uh, that have really reached out to me in that. I've met friends through that. And I would not turn back at all right now just to know that the where I was would never have the relationships I, I have now. And I was so foolish in thinking that I didn't need those, that I could just live without those people, um, that it, it's just incredible. Kind of one of the last points that I want to hit is um, a lot of people think that, oh, I, I don't need these friends because they're, they're going to, I don't need anything else done for me. I can do it all myself. And um and as, as prideful as you want to be in that, it, it's, it doesn't really matter because what it comes down to is it's not just about you and the friendship. Uh, when I look at my friends, I know for a fact, and as humbly as I can say it, that I have changed their lives too. Uh, and I know that without doubt. Um, but it's, it's the fact that you, you need to stretch yourself and you need to go out and you need to find these people. Um, not just for your sake, because it will push you. It will change you. It will make you uh, a better Christian. It will make you a better person. But it will also help them. Uh, they need you just as much as you need them. They, there are no one out there that doesn't need people around them. We are built for people. God gave us other people. You need friendships in your life. You need Christ-centered friendships in your life. Otherwise, you're just going to walk around and, and accomplish nothing. Um, you, you won't be stretched, you won't be pushed, you won't have accountability. There's so many things that go along with, with those relationships that it's, it's not even a question of like, oh, I'm a little squ scared or anything. It's not a pity party for you that, that you don't have friends. Like it's, it's you need to go get relationships in your life that are 
good for the kingdom, good for Christ. Uh, without that, really, you're just you're just kind of standing around doing nothing. <laughs>